You know what? It's Halloween, so we're watching all the shit that scares the fuck out of me. Why girls become boys? <laughs> what the fuck is even this title? If you know any middle or high school girls today, or if you are one yourself, then please click off this video. Please click off this video. Because what you're about to hear is about to be some bullshit. Would not be surprising if you know someone who identifies as transgender. The latest statistics indicate that 2% of American high school students now identify as transgender. And the okay, I always want to bring up the left-hand argument whenever I see a stat. Just remember that uh, the percentage of left-handers went up once they were told to, once they were, once they stopped being told to use their right hand. The overwhelming majority of them are teenage girls. Between 2016 and 2017 alone, the number of females seeking gender surgery in America quadrupled. But if you graduated high school over a decade ago, it was unlikely that you knew anyone who was transgender, because according to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. The condition underlying it afflicted roughly one in 10,000 people, or 0.01% of the population. Yikes, starting out with the transgender as a mental illness like discussion, ew. Almost none of these cases were teenage girls. In fact, before 2012, there was no scientific or medical literature discussing adolescent girls who wanted to transition to the opposite sex. I wonder fucking why. That doesn't mean that we didn't know about transgender individuals. Gender dysphoria, the severe discomfort in one's biological sex, has been studied for nearly 100 years. It almost always involved boys who began feeling it between the ages of two and four and were strong and persistent in their assertions to everyone around them that they were really girls. When a phenomenon that affects one half of a population, boys, suddenly begins affecting the other half, girls, and when its age of onset shifts from preschool to adolescence, something significant is happening. In 2016- Yeah, more people are being open to the idea and that's allowing people to understand their, their biological needs and realizing that what they're hearing is not just a nuance of like something wrong with their brain, but it's an actual thing that can be solved. Teen, Brown University public health researcher, Lisa Lippman, began studying the sudden spike in trans identification of teenage girls. She concluded that peer influence and social media influence had a lot to do with this trans teen phenomenon. It's not a phenomenon. It's, again, what I said earlier about the Internet opening us up to more experiences. I'm allowed to relate more to people who are going through the same thing as I am, even though I'm not near them, which gives me the ability to discuss and critically analyze how I'm feeling as opposed to just going off on the whims of my neighbors and friends near me. After all, based on parent reports, none of these girls had exhibited symptoms of gender dysphoria at the age that it typically first presents, early childhood. YouTube, Reddit, Tumblr, TikTok, and Instagram all host popular social media influencers, today's version of Hollywood stars, who insist that if you feel uncomfortable in your body, you're probably trans. That's not true at all. That's a straight up a lie. That is straight up a lie. Many promise that if you start a course of testosterone, all of your problems will go away. That's also not true. You're just straight up lying. There's every reason to believe that these girls are experiencing real psychological pain. Rates of anxiety, depression, and instances of self-harm are all at record levels for this generation. And I a wonder why. Maybe because we had two fucking economic depressions. Uh, we had a terrorist attack. Like, you've, like, we've gone to war. We've been fed propaganda for years. You literally elected a president. Who Very tempting. So it doesn't take much. A YouTube video, a friend's suggestion, to get a troubled girl to buy into the fantasy that gender transition is the answer. This is not true. This is straight up lies. Unfortunately for these girls who do not have typical gender dysphoria, gender transition rarely offers relief. And it's a catastrophic mistake for psychologists, educators, and the medical establishment to rush these teens towards a solution that will almost certainly harm rather than heal. It's bullshit. It takes so long to get into treatment. Because here's what's not in dispute. Unnecessary medical gender transition causes irreversible damage. Okay, that's just hyperbole. You're just saying something for the sake of saying it. High risk of infertility, sexual dysfunction, 
and the creation of a permanent medical patient. The same way you keep cancer patients on the roll because it made some more money instead of discovering a cure for it. Tragically, we've made it far too easy for kids to take this path. No, we haven't. Long before they're ready psychologically or emotionally. Literally, the process requires you to be ready psychologically and emotionally and physically. To make such a life-altering decision. Testosterone is easily obtained by today's teens. Literally not true. In Oregon, a 15-year-old can walk into a gender clinic. Yes, there are now gender clinics all over the country. Like what, seven? And walk out the same day with a prescription for testosterone without her parents' permission. That's not true either. That is quite literally a lie. Like this video that has 1.6 million views, straight up lying in it. Like that is a lie. 16-year-old girls a have lie. been able to undergo double mastectomies, the removal of both breasts, without even a therapist's note. Predictably, Another hasty one. gender transition, remember we're talking about teenagers here, is now leading to a lot of regret. New testimonials appear on YouTube almost every week from teens who acknowledge that they made a terrible mistake and warn others not to make the same one. Okay, but that doesn't, again, percentages, remember? I thought we were talking in percentages. How many of the percent of that? How many people make videos? How many people are scared to put themselves online for being trans? How many people are forced to do that because of their parents, social pressure, all that, etc.? So how do you protect your daughter from being drawn into this dangerous and growing trend? Oh my God, so fuck the boys. First, limit their exposure to social media as much as you can. Several academic studies have already linked the alarming rates of anxiety and depression to young girls' punishing experience on social media. That is true. A place that often makes them feel sad, unattractive, and alone. That Second, is very true. oppose the teaching of gender ideology in your kid's school. All right, I'm skipping that because that is bullshit. can and should insist that every child be treated respectfully without sowing gender confusion in an entire student population. Gender confusion. Third. As if like, as if like, women don't get called dirty, Look, shut Most up. Most importantly, remember that a teenager is still just a teenager. You don't have to agree with every identity proclamation your daughter comes up with. Knowledge of her identity will develop over time. Until then, being the adult in the relationship is the most loving thing you can do. I'm Abigail Schreier. <sighs> okay, so that video was just full of lies. How are y'all supporting it that hard? Video debunked. What is wrong with you?